Hello, welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today, the question I'm answering is, what is in this massive, huge, ridiculous box? What I have before me here is the Anachrony Infinity Box, but not the full thing. Because I already owned Anachrony, so when this was kickstarted, I got the Infinity Upgrade Pack. Part of that is a box to fit this new expansion and the original game. So all that's in here is the expansion content. Um, I opened Anachrony a long time ago, it's one of my favorite games, so I don't have an unboxing video for Anachrony. But I'm going to show you what's in the box in regards to the Upgrade Pack. So for those of you who didn't, did already own the original and are looking to get the upgrades, this is what you get in the box. Um, this has all kinds of things. I've got like a gold seal on here and stuff to show it's official. Uh, here we can kind of see what's going to be in here. So here are the various things. So on the back it actually says upgrade pack. So if you look, there's an extra piece of paper here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to crack the shrink on this. Then we're going to swap cameras. We'll have a top-down view. And hopefully I can get this all into the camera so you can see what's going on. So I'm probably going to start with the back of the box. But first I got to cut the shrink. All right. So here you have the sheet that was attached to the bottom of that, that is telling us everything that is in this upgrade pack. So if you have the Anachrony leader box, this is all you need to own everything for Anachrony. And yes, I already owned it. So we're going to have some new miniatures. We've got a new module here, another module, another module, another module, another module, and some custom components. Um, in addition to this is going to be a modular tray for doing this. So what I might do at some point is I might record a separate video where I will show you the insert pieces and putting everything in and reboxing this. But for now, we're going to take a look at what's in here. Um, I honestly don't know how the, if this is still going to be available because if you look, I actually have a numbered version of this. So my copy is number 6,164 of 13774. So I am cracking this for the first time. I have no idea if everything will be in shrink. I'm expecting everything will be in shrink and I'll have to open it all. So here we go. First look inside the box. We got some nice foam divider here already. We're gonna put that lid down on the floor. Oh wow, like like custom piece of foam here to specifically hold these separate boards. I'm gonna keep this to the side because you may need this. Um, we're starting right off with the deck cards with some new characters here, new faction characters, which I gotta say is really cool thing to have, having played Anachrony. So what you have here is at the start of a game of Anachrony, you choose which character you want to use. So we have new character options. There's also something called Agenda Benefits here. Uh, another new character option, more Agenda Benefits. Another character, a couple more characters. So it looks like at least two different characters, and I'm not sure about these Agenda Benefits. That's gotta be something new. And it looks like the agenda benefits might also be by faction. A whole bunch of new characters. I gotta say, that's gonna make it rough for new players. Because that's one of the my biggest complaints about Anachrony. Is when you sit down to play, your first decision is pick a character. And you're like, I've never played before. How do I know what to pick? And I usually just tell people, go with the art. Um, so there is another summary here. I think that's because this ups the player count by one if you wish as well. Whole ton of new characters. Dig it. Appreciate it. Looking forward to trying them out. Next, oh my, look at that. Look at this booklet, look at that. This is a board game. This isn't an RPG supplement. What am I getting myself into here? All right, you talk about getting intimidated by rule books for board games. Look at this, look at, you got this, 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 and this. So one of the things this promised, which I think is awesome, is to have all the rules for all the games in one place. So all the expansion content all in one place. This is it. So this is the contents of everything. Like for everything that exists for Anachrony is summarized here in one book. And tells you how to play with all the rules and all the errata. Uh, looks very similar to the original rule book. I recognize this. It's a solid rule book. Um, I've always said Anachrony is not nearly as difficult to learn as it looks. It's actually a rather simple game to play the first couple times because your options are limited. I've always loved the artwork in here. Yeah, this is basically the same rule book. I'm sure there's tweaks and changes. Frequently overlooked rules. 
Uh, but then we've got the Doomsday module. That was in the original. But here, the Prisoners of New Earth module is in here. So everything in one rule book, which I appreciate. Uh, Guardians of the Council module, which was something that came in a separate box set before, as well as optional rules. We've got the Coronobot solo mode and a huge appendix for all the different buildings, all the different leader abilities, and so on. So we have the, the basically the summarized rule book. This obviously is a nice to have. This was a Kickstarter bonus. It is an art and storybook, and I gotta say, I love the art. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. You've got a timeline here. I'm gonna flip through this quick. Beautiful artwork, how exosuits look up close, the different factions. This is really cool. The amount of work they put into this for a board game is impressive. We're gonna flip through this much quicker here and just jump to the end if I could just get it to flip the world and so on. I gotta say this would make a fantastic RPG setting if you're into RPG gaming. So cool, nice to have. Fractures of Time is the new expansion that was kickstarted. Uh, so we got totally new stuff here I've never seen. Looks like all new player boards. We got all kinds of more info, more chips, and then we do have a totally new faction, which I think again ups the player count. Um, setup changes, that's a lot of setup changes. We're gonna flip through this again pretty quickly. Looks like lots of good examples, lots of artwork. You've got important callouts in different colors. Always been impressed by the work Mind Clash did. Um, there is some variability using with other modules. Uh, Anachrony has always been a game with lots of dials you can change. Okay, what do we got next? Future Imperfect, another new expansion. So it's interesting. I would have thought they would have just put all of these in the one book instead of having something separate. So again, another module for this game, as if it didn't have enough replayability as it is. This is a game, it could be a lifetime game for people. And I love it, a manual for how to put the trays in. That's, that's pretty amusing. So we have the tray manual literally showing you where to put everything. So one of the things that's going to be in here is a, is a, a player thing for every faction. I love this. I, I love that that you actually have uh, this stuff. And then I actually own these. These are custom components that you could uh, add on to your pledge. They're not in this box. I'm not showing those off today. But it actually tells you where to place those as well. I dig it. And then I like this because what they did is they pulled out the solo rules and put it in a separate book. So I appreciate that. Uh, same deal. You're looking at all the components. You've got solid rule set how it works, and then the interesting one here is how to use this with all the different modules and expansions. So you can actually play Fractures of Time solo as well. And again, we're just going to skip to the end here, appendixes. Lots of books. Again, that that this alone is impressive. Look at that. Look at all those books. All right, then you got all the stuff for all this. Um, this is going to be a mess when I take all this out because I'm probably not going to put it all away properly. So we have new boards for each of the factions for one of the various um, modules. These are two-sided. We have a new score sheet, nice thick. Uh, there's going to be very few groups that are going to run through this, and it is two-sided. So really, you got twice as much usage here. Then we have more new player boards. I saw these in some of the faction rules. So these look like they would go underneath your existing boards. So there should be one of these for each faction, which it looks like there are. Uh, these are two-sided and different. So different on each side. I'm not sure what the options would be. So the way that was packaged, this all should be for one module. That these and these should go together in some way. So I'm gonna try to keep them together when I put stuff back into the box. And then this should be a different module. All right, new player board, or new board. Looks like new spots, new worker placement spots. It's going to be a new section of the board that you can do new things on. Or it replaces the existing board. Uh, again, two-sided. I don't see a difference off the top of my head. So it may just... Oh, no, it's based on player count. So there's got to be some kind of difference on here. And then with that, we have a new faction boards. Again, you're going to get to pick which side. And then, I have no idea, some kind of mecha board. 
Looks like you can slot a person into whatever this mecha is. And then a, I have no clue, a giant evil looking thing with a bunch of resources on it. And another player board. So these may be, so these are Path of Unity. These are ones from the original game. So these may be replacement player boards. It's odd that there's only three of the factions though. Next module. Okay, the dangers of unboxing. I just gave myself a bad cardboard cut. So I'm going to pause for a second to get something so I don't bleed all over my components. Let's see what we got now. We have another new player board. Multiple players, there's definitely spots to put mech on, so this will be an outside area. And another new board with all kinds of new options. Okay, this game was already a table hog. I am scared by how much room this is going to take. I have an 8x4 table. I have no idea if this is going to fit on here. So now we're getting into punch boards. Many of these I recognize. These are obviously new buildings. We've got the new world events. There's some victory point tokens, but these little ones I don't know. There's obviously a new type of worker. Um, this is obviously a new timeline board, which should, yeah, it's got a different symbol on it. We've got some additional energy cores, so on. So we have punch boards. We're just going to fl quickly flip through these punch boards. Oh, they, so that just shows how well punched they are. Stuff's falling out, like literally falling out on me here. All right, <laughs> we're going to put that back and try to put this on here. Uh, just because I want to be able to fit it all back in the box. So I will try to be more careful with moving these over. And then you get to see the other side. Oh yeah, this board, quite a few boards here. Oh, again, I'm punching stuff without trying. Try to grab from the edges. There we go. That worked. Except now I'm not at the right angle. Plenty of cardboard. And last one. All right, so here we have it. Whole bunch of punch boards. One somehow smaller than the others. So lots of new cardboard. All right, what do we got next? I guess I take this up. So we have our first plastic tray. Obviously it's gonna hold a bunch of components from the base game as well. Uh, we've got standees, plastic standees. I'm not gonna bother opening those up. Uh, we have new water resources, which are the same as in the base game. Really nice components actually in the original game. Let's see if I can get one of these out. So little crystal water drops. I always appreciated the, the quality of those components. In the original, we have two new dice. So we have a D6 with unstandard numbers. We have two, four, five, four, three, and oh, I flipped it. <laughs> two, four, five, four, three, and three. So rather interesting distribution of dice. And then we have one with various symbols from the game. Uh, those are victory point symbols. That's the, um, I can't hear, the light and dark track thing on your main board. Um, I don't know that one off the top of my head. That's obviously a worker. That is the, um, the time issue, the, the fracture in time. So we have a bunch of dice there. Then we have some Hobbit sized cards. Crack these open quickly. We're looking at backs. We have all kinds of different backs here. So we have four new, uh, these look like endgame scoring cards. What I'm going to do for now is just slot these in here. We've got, uh, no, these, these are endgame um, conditions for sure. These, I have no idea. They may be faction-based. Obviously, new cards for one of the expansions. Oh, there, there's just a ton of different cards here with different backs. Lots of icons to learn. A couple black ones. A bunch more of these blue ones, and they're blue on this side, too. Lots of cards. This is what happens when you put this many different little modules in one game. 
Now we have more of these, and I know I just noticed different parts of these are colored different. Some are pointing up, down, left, right. So a whole bunch more of these little hobbit size cards showing first, second, fourth. So it's all obviously various area control or area majority scoring. There's some end game scoring cards. Foreign labor. Without knowing the modules, I apologize. I couldn't tell you what most of those are for. They do fit nicely in this card holder right here, though, however they're supposed to go. Then we've got standard size cards. All right, these all have the same backs, obviously, for whatever expansion they are. Nero Stimulization Advanced Time Processor Byproduct Converter. So these seem like some kind of cool technologies. Again, the iconography here, if you know the game, makes a lot of sense. This obviously gives you a spot to go to another mech and so on. Convert, if you don't use mechs, get water and so on. We're going to toss those in here. So first tray, what I do appreciate, a lid. That is always nice. So when that happens, you don't spill everything. Then we have some, uh, this is the new faction board. So this is the, one of the new, the new race, the new faction that's involved. I shouldn't say race, new, new faction. Uh, it looks like the automata is also here or something. This is a very different board than that. That's what I'm used to seeing. That's your standard board in this game. That's what everyone's going to use. So yes, player boards. Okay, that makes more sense. It's two different things. I was like, how, how, what is this other side? So player boards always have two options of choices. You have both options. And you've got whatever this new funky board is, which could be for solo. It's probably the solo play for the two new modules. But I don't actually know for sure. Then we have a piece of cardboard. So this isn't going to look like much. Because, again, I already own the base game. So this is all your storage for the base game. So you are looking at what I dig here is the lid. You can see it here clearly. Shows what you're supposed to put in each spot. That is awesome. The other thing I see here is they're scooped. So for these type of resources, they're easy to scoop out. Um, looks like we've, we're going to have our different types of people here. So your, your workers are going to go in here and they've got a nice little... Oh, here, I'll open it. See, it's not just square. Whereas this is going to hold like cubes. Tokens. This is going to be tokens. Uh, here we have... A whole bunch of all my new tokens. I was looking forward to these. So these are plastic replacements for what came in the original game, which is awesome. For a very silly reason, I lost a piece. And even worse, I lost a yellow piece, and I play yellow. So here we have these. These are the warp tokens in the game. Oh, there's other stuff in here, too. So these are the warp tokens. And this is actually the one I was missing, the yellow mecha one. What you would do is, here, I'll grab some of the green ones, because, is, on your turn, you decide if you want to send yourself resources from the future, and you do that by holding out a blind hand, and then flip it, and you go, like, oh, I am getting a mech and a purple re resource from the future. These are awesome feeling. These are solid plastic, they're glossy, they got some weight to them. I really dig these. These are kick butt. And then here, we also have the, um, trackers for, oh, what's the word? Uh, anomalies, that's not even the right word, the, the, when the time ruptures, time loop ruptures. Paradox, paradox tokens. Again, in nice plastic, so we're going to pull those out separate. Right, let's throw these back in here. I love it, those are awesome. That was one of the big things I was looking forward to. Then we have purple, the purple, uh, I forget what it's called, it's something like raritanium. Uh, is the rarest resource in the game. Well, these are heavy metal cubes to replace the cheap plastic ones that are in the original to make this particular resource feel impressive and important compared to everything else. Really cool. I, I love the inset. Uh, more impressive than some other game's cubes. So there's a set of those. And then we have the other two tracking tokens you would have on your main player board. We have the upgraded versions right here. So again, nice thick plastic pieces they've even they're they're three-dimensional they have a bump on them that sticks out with the symbol so uh, let's see if we can see this a little better right about there see how it's actually three-dimensional with the symbol all silk screened and then um, glossed afterwards I dig it I do dig it so we're gonna put all these back for now and again cover these up 
so this would be where your resources go. Here's all your different types of resources. This is where it shows workers. These would be your power cores. Uh, again, I'm going to make a pile over here. Oh, interesting. This like slots on here in an interesting way. Okay, not sure exactly what these are for, but probably something during play. Um, and these are the building types. Oh, awesome. This is the building market. So you have all the various building types, and then you would have the face-up one here, the one that's available for purchase now. I dig that. That is going to be useful during play. Always appreciative of things that can be used during play. Um, these don't say what they're for, so maybe they're just kind of some extra ones or for some of the factions. Then what do we got? All right. So much stuff. All right. This is obviously for tracking the timeline. You can put your timeline cards here and the text that go above them here. That'll just be nice for organization. This one, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> Probably for one specific module. What, what's missing here is none of these have the uh, what goes where. But I think it's the kind of thing where you probably, uh, only certain things would fit in here. I'm not sure. It's an odd decision that they didn't do that for this. So yeah, this is obviously for a specific expansion. So I dig that. You're going to have each of the different expansions, or I guess they're not expansions. The different modules will have their own tray. Because there's obviously a spot here for one of them. Okay, I've got a pile up here beside it, you can see. And then... Yep, factions. So there should be, I think, six of these. These are going to be for each individual player to put their, their own player pieces in. So you're going to have your starting workers, your mecha, and everything in here. There should be a bunch of these that are all similar, but not identical because the mechs are different sizes. Um, you're not going to be able to see me soon because I'll have so much stuff piled up here. And then we should have more of the same. Yes. So again, uh, for the different factions, each player is going to get one of these while the player components. And while this does come with a new faction, so we have the mecha for the new faction right here. We're going to take one of those out because i got to say the minis for this game have always been awesome. So the coolest part about the minis in this game, I don't have one here. But you actually slot your workers into the top of them. And these just replace cardboard counters, but they are so much cooler than cardboard counters. So here we go. Here's the new factions minis from the Anachrony Infinity Upgrade Kit. And then that's it. That's a lot of stuff um, for empty boxes, really, at this point. So just in case, I don't know if I'm going to need these to go in between, but just in case, I'm going to put them back in. And we're going to throw down these here. Oh, they're different sizes. Interesting. I missed the... They were different sizes. There we go. Fits much better. And this one. Let's see, there was some method to my madness for how I put stuff over here. And then this one. Okay, this one had one on top. This one I messed up a bit. There we go. Boom. Boom. Looks like it's gonna fit nice. So again, I don't have my, my main boards or anything in here. So what I'm not gonna bother with is the foam. So this actually, you know what's really impressive? Okay, look at this. this tray actually has little feet to fit stuff under it. Interesting. Uh, punch boards. Hopefully nothing's falling out. And well, this stuff I think I'm just gonna toss on top at this point. It may not be the prettiest at this point, but it'll work. And then the scorebook. We're going to ditch the foam. Massive pile of rule books. And new cards. Which what I'm going to do right now is there was a baggie on top. And I'm going to use that to put these cards in so they don't get damaged. But um. There we go. Anachrony, Infinity Box, technically just the upgrade kit. At some point in the future, I'm going to have to take all my Anachrony stuff and put it in here. I may or may not do a video for that. So there you have it. Everything I got with the Infinity Upgrade Pledge, the upgrade pack for Anachrony, giving me a gigantic box that will hold 
Anachrony and all the expansions, including the Exosuit Commander set, and I don't even remember what the other expansion I owned before this was. The two brand new expansions that were just kickstarted last year, all in one box with some great looking containers to hold everything and separate it. Stuff I saw that really impressed me the most were the individual player containers, so you'll have your own mechs and all your own stuff in one spot. The way the trays for the various resources and worker types were labeled, so you can tell what goes where. And the fact they had the, the scoop trough, so it's easy to get things out of it. And in addition, I did have a couple upgrades in there, which I didn't realize were going to be in this box. I had the new upgraded warp tokens, where you can send stuff from the future to you so you can use them now, which is a huge part of the game. And those are really nice. Nice and thick. They remind me of the Board Game Geek, Geek Up tokens, like that level of quality. Really impressed by that. Um, again, I forget the name of the resource, but the purple one, the rare one, the, the what everyone's fighting over. Um, the metal versions of those are nice. Really nice, solid. They feel impressive. It's like, oh, I've got the good stuff here. Really impressed by that. Really looking forward to getting my stuff organized in here. Breaking Anachrony out. Anachrony is one of my favorite games. Though at this point, it's been long enough, I'm probably going to have to play with the base rules. And then slowly trying to check out various parts of this, because there are a number of different expansions in here. And then, in my free time for toilet reading, I guess, I've got a book of art and stories and background, which looks really cool. I still think this would make a fantastic setting for an RPG, and that could be worth it just for that. Overall, extremely impressed. I do already have a spot on my shelf for this, but i got to get rid of my other stuff and get it in here. Um, thank you for joining me to check out the Anachrony Infinity Box. Uh, that is from Mind Clash Games. Originally funded on Kickstarter. I apologize if this isn't available, but maybe if you can get a late pledge version or pre-order it or find someone who's got a copy now, you know what's in the box. I am Motuzno, Tabletop Bellhop. Find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, and at our website, tabletopbellhop.com. If you appreciated this video, it'd be awesome if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and considered tipping your bellhop. That's it for me today. I got a huge box here to fill up with a bunch of components from expansions and other anachrony stuff and get everything set up so the next time I sit down to play, the game will set up so much quicker. I'm looking forward to that. Good night and game on.